you're a wheat farmer, by now you probably know spraying a fungicide can be a great thing in your operation, but when's the best time to get the best return on investment? We want to talk about that today. It all starts with that early season herbicide timing window where we a lot of times will see those early season diseases. Why do we see disease at that timing? Well, for one, we've got a short plant, it's close to the ground, and the ground a lot of times is wet and cold. That all adds up to more potential for diseases. Maybe it's tan spot, maybe it's something else. A lot of times that is where we see good gains using a fungicide right in there with the herbicide in the same tank. Okay, well that is a good time to spray, but what most universities have shown and private industry, it's that flag leaf timing. Yet that's the time when the fewest number of people spray. And here's why I think that is. Because at herbicide timing, it's easy. You're already out there anyway. You throw something in, no big deal, right? Okay, you use a half rate, only costs you two to five dollars an acre, no big deal. That flag leaf timing, well that's where you might have to call a plane in or if you had tram lines you could go spray it yourself. But a lot of people look at flag leaf timing and they say, well if I wait just a little longer then I can get my disease control on the leaves but I can also protect that head. So a lot of people wait till heading timing and don't get me wrong, heading timing is a great time to spray too. For the intensive wheat management guys, they're doing all three timings. At herbicide timing, they're going at flag leaf which is the most important and then also at heading timing. The heading timing is incredibly difficult to get timed exactly right because ideally what we want is it's got to be fully headed and we want maybe 5, 10, 20 percent flowering. We want a little bit of flowering to happen and then you're going to spray. Okay well the window's like two days so if you can hit that just right you're in pretty good shape for protecting yourself from head scab and from some of the leaf diseases. Okay, for the most part, we get a lot of questions about which products work the best, you know, which of those timings should I choose? Well, let's, let's start uh, with products. Let's just go with products. So that early season herbicide timing, you can use a triazole, you could use a strobal urine, which would be in that headline or equation type of family, or you could use a combination product, which generally has one triazole and one strobal urine. And there are other combinations too that have different sites of action as okay, well. Okay, yep, yeah, but here's the thing. You're not going to get a lot of the plant health benefits out of the old tilt or generic tilt, something like bumper. Okay, it's a fine product, all right, but for just a little bit more money, you can get plant health benefits too. The equation is the generic of Quadrus. It's like three and a half or bucks. Or really go out on a limb brand and spend an extra couple bucks and mix that generic tilt in with it. You you very well could, but all I'm trying to say is I'd probably use a strobel urine there. And, and the rate, leaf. and the rate. Half at that rate. early season application, we have plant. a small plant, yep. so a low rate. All right, so later on at flag leaf timing, that's where you probably want to run full rate. You could do a straight strobal urine. We prefer to see a combination product of a strobe and a triazole. And then at the heading timing, that's where we want to run with a straight triazole. You can't run with a strobal urine product. Anything containing a strobal urine, like a headline, equation, quadrus, can't do it. The reason why is you're going to probably have increased Don levels, basically toxin levels. We don't want that in our crop. So you got to go with a straight trizol. The nice thing here is now we've got great options like Prasaro and Caramba that are much better for scab. And this year, I mean, we were talking 20 bushels in a lot of fields. But you've also got a cheap option. The old generic Folicure is two bucks an acre. Two bucks an acre for something like Tebicon. That's it. So before you say, ah, oh, it's too expensive, I can't afford that this year. Don't you know commodity prices are down? Is it really too expensive for two bucks an acre? You can't honestly tell me that on average you aren't going to gain a return by spraying something that costs two bucks an acre and used to be the premier product not only for head scab but for rust like stripe rust as well. well. One other thing you may see in your wheat fields is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.